Nearly everyone struggles with some form of memory loss before reaching middle age. Thanks to recently developed brain imaging and genetic technologies, scientists can now observe the earliest physical indicators of brain aging in people as young as 25. Tiny plaques and tangles that develop and grow ever denser in our brains often begin accumulating decades before any middle age forgetfulness sets in. A minute spot of plaque on a 30-year-old brain could possibly indicate Alzheimer's disease 40 years from now, just as a tiny little snag of the dentist's probe can mean a cavity in the making. But we need not despair. Misplacing your keys a couple of times doesn't mean you should start labeling your cabinets. Memory loss is not an inevitable consequence of aging. Our brains can fight back, and the Memory Bible will give you the tools. We can improve our memory performance immediately and stave off, possibly even prevent, future memory decline. The sooner all of us begin our memory program, the sooner we will be on the path to keeping our brains young and healthy for the rest of our lives. Gary Small, MD, Los Angeles, California, May 2002. Chapter 1. You have more control than you think. I have a photographic memory, but once in a while, I forget to take off the lens cap. Milton Burl. Imagine struggling your way out the glass doors of a crowded mall in late December, loaded with shopping bags, packages, and presents. Your head is pounding and your feet hate you and the shoes you walked in on. You'd die of starvation this second if you weren't already dying of thirst. You manage to pull out your car keys and glance up at the humongous, jam-packed parking structure when it hits you. You've forgotten where you parked. Could never happen to you, you say? Ever forgotten your purse, your wallet, file, or phone at home, only to remember it while caught in rush hour traffic later? Maybe you've struggled to remember the name of a movie you saw last night or that new neighbor you just met, not five minutes ago. Does it ring a bell? Most of us laugh off these so-called middle-age pauses, considering them just another normal annoyance of aging, not a true memory problem, and certainly not a sign of Alzheimer's disease, not at our age. I hate to pop another, I could party all night and still get to work on time if I wanted to, baby boomer bubble, but it's time for all of us to wake up. We are all one day closer to Alzheimer's disease. It's never too late or too early to fight brain aging. Just as all of us inevitably get older, Recent convincing scientific evidence shows that Alzheimer's disease is not simply an illness that some old people get. Alzheimer's disease or related dementia may well be everybody's end result of brain aging, and it begins forming in our brains much earlier than anyone previously imagined, even in our 20s. The subtle, gradual aging of the brain starts as tiny plaques and tangles that begin accumulating there decades before a doctor can recognize any symptoms of the disease. In fact, these plaques and tangles begin forming so early in our adult lives that subtle memory and language changes go unnoticed and ignored for many years. Nevertheless, these minuscule spots of plaque in our otherwise healthy brains are the first signs of brain aging, and they will increase insidiously if we do nothing about them. When I speak on this subject, I'm often asked, will my brain already be irreversibly damaged by the time I reach middle age? Is it too late for me to try to head off this inevitable process? Is it too soon for me to start? Is my memory ability destined to decline no matter what I try to do about it? My answer to these questions is no. It is never too late or too early to start beating the brain aging game. Even if one day research finds a way to restore already lost brain cells, scientists agree that preventing the loss of memory will always be easier than restoring it. The sooner we rise to the challenge, the sooner we can intervene in the battle like little neuron gladiators and with luck, do so while our forgetfulness is minimal or even imperceptible.